All right, I'm gonna show you how to use paper to make a paper sculpture. So a sculpture is different than just a normal two-dimensional artwork. So normally when we create a picture or a collage, it might be just flat, like this piece of paper. It goes one way and it goes another way. So it goes two directions. But three-dimensional artwork goes three different ways. It goes side to side, top to bottom, and it also goes up. So if you were to walk around the picture, it would look different from each side because it goes up into space too. So we're gonna create a paper sculpture just using long strips of rectangles, and I'm gonna show you how to glue them on your paper. So we're gonna start um, by just making a simple structure that goes up. So I'm gonna put glue just on one side, it's one spot like that. So I'm just putting it right on the end like that. And then I'm gonna put it on my paper wherever I want it to start, and I'm gonna hold it down, and I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll help hold it in place. Then I'm gonna put glue on the other end. So on the side that's facing the paper still, I'm gonna put glue on the other end. Just that little spot on the end again. And then I'm gonna put this closer to the beginning where I glued the first time. See how the closer I get, the taller it gets? And when I go further out, it gets shorter. So you can decide where you want it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. Hold it down and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if it doesn't seem to be staying, then I might have to count a little longer, hold it a little more. But you can see now, it goes side to side, up and down, and it's tall. It sticks up off my paper. So that's the first way you can do um, a shape on your paper sculpture. The next way I'm gonna show you, um, you take and you do the same beginning. You start with a spot of glue, and I hold that down and count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm gonna take, and this time, instead of just squishing it closer like this, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna turn it upside down. See how it makes a loop? And then I'm gonna put glue on the bottom side here and do the same thing. Oh, look at that, it popped off. I guess I didn't hold it long enough. So I'm gonna hold that side and count again. Make sure it sticks, and then I'm gonna put a little glue on the bottom of this. I'm gonna turn it over, and I'm gonna hold both sides to count this time so that they both stay. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then if they come off again, I'll put a little glue back on again and hold them again to see. Now you can see I made sort of a spiral shape this time. The next one's a little tricky because you have to do some folding before you start. So you take your plain paper and you're gonna fold like this. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna fold the other way, like this. See how it goes back and forth? And then I fold the other way. And they go back and forth. Fold one way, and then I fold the other way. And then I fold one way, and then I fold it back again. And I just keep going back and forth, back and forth, until I get all the way to the end. And then when I open it up, it looks like a spring. So now I can glue my two ends down and it'll look like little spikes sticking up. If I put them closer, they'll stand up higher. If I put them further apart, they'll stand out shorter. I'm gonna put glue on the part that touches the paper, and glue on the part that touches the paper, and then I'm gonna hold those two ends down where I want them, and I'm gonna to count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. 
So those are some really simple ways to get started. You can also think about different ways. You can put the paper down. If you glue one side, figure out where you want to put the other side, and maybe you could come up with some designs of your own. You can also think about how they can go around each other. So maybe I want to put one through here and glue it down like that. Or maybe I want to try gluing it around like this and making it into a circle. Or I could try going under this one and looping it around like that. So you can figure out lots of different ways that you can use the paper to make different designs by gluing the ends in different spots. So you can see how it can make all different kinds of designs just by gluing the ends in different ways. So now you can try, just remember, when you put the glue down, you hold those ends and count to 10 and fill your whole paper up with different colors and different designs. It'll make it even more interesting. Go ahead and try it out.